You know, you look through the whole Qur'an, I've told you this before. You know, Allah created your eyes and the whole Qur'an you're challenged. Do, do you not look at the sky? Do you not look at the elephant? Do you not look at the mountains? Do you not look at the ground? We're constantly told to use these eyes to look at all of these signs of Allah and so that we can remind ourselves of who our Creator is. And then you go through the whole Qur'an and you say, okay, Allah tells us to look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. When are, what are we not supposed to look at? So why don't we ask ourselves that question? What does the Qur'an tell us that we can't look at? So there are only two things in the whole Qur'an that you're not allowed to look at. That tell you that you're not allowed to look at something. Two places. Number one, كُلِّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَهُدُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ Tell the believing males to lower their gaze. One place you're not allowed to use your eye. And number two, وَلَا تَعْدُ أَيْنَاكَ أَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا and do not look at, do not turn your eyes away from the believing people seeking the beauty of this world. So there's two things you're not allowed to look at. The, peop, the, the living it up of this life, you know, for the, for the, at the cost of the hereafter and the non-mahram. That's it. Everything else is halal. These are the only two things. And these are the things that people spend their time looking at. They walk around blind to the fact that the sun came up in the morning by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't even notice that Allah raised the sun that morning, took the whole earth and rotated it and made the sun rise that morning. And instead they're looking at every billboard, every woman walking on the street, and every house and car that they pass by thinking when they're going to have these things. It's like opposite. You know, it, the whole world is flipped. We don't look at the sky and say, SubhanAllah, my, my, my Allah spread this. We don't look at the ground and say, SubhanAllah, Allah spread this. We don't look at the sun and the moon and say, SubhanAllah, Allah has such power that He takes the whole universe and flips it like this, that He causes the sun to rise, sun to set, sun to rise, sun to set. And then instead we're caught up in looking at foolishness, things that destroy us. It's just amazing. You know, we, what are we doing? We've totally reversed the paradigm. It's just so unfortunate. And these are the things that feed the nafs. The more you look at the lifestyle of the foolish, the more you're going to turn into a fool yourself. The more you're going to turn into a fool yourself. It's, it, and the more you begin to look at the non-mahram, the more you're going to get caught up in interactions with the non-mahram or desiring things that you shouldn't be desiring. So we should be very particular. And that's just the use of the eyes. We haven't talked about the use of the tongue and the use of the ears and the use of the hand and the use of the mind. But we should be very particular to recognize that whenever we allow anything impermissible to enter into our soul, it's not a small thing because what happens is that is food. For who? For the animal that lives within inside you, within you. The more you feed that animal, the more you turn into an animal. The more you then begin to get consumed by yourself. That's the problem. So we think, oh, it's not a big deal if I look at this or if I look at that. It's not a big deal if I sit on Realtor.com and just look at all these houses that I can't afford. It's not a big deal if I go and just go on the website and look at all these strange cars that I know I'll never be able to drive. It is a big deal. It is a big deal because it feeds that animal within you. And then what happens is you begin to live your life for those things. And that is the most despicable life. Because it never brings you happiness in this world. And it definitely will bring you failure in the hereafter. Definitely will bring you failure in the hearing.